Your patient is ordered 100 milligrams of amoxicillin trihydrate orally. 125 milligrams in 5 milliliters of syrup is available. How many milliliters do you give your patient? Your patient is ordered 100 milligrams of amoxicillin trihydrate orally. 125 milligrams in 5 milliliters of syrup is available. How many milliliters of syrup do you give your patient? Okay, so we're looking for a dose of 100 milligrams. And the amoxicillin trihydrate is available as a syrup, 125 milligrams per 5 mils. So it's always a good idea to estimate firstly how much Well, we know that we're looking for 100 milligrams, and we have 125 milligrams per 5 ml syrup. So if we estimate, say, 4 ml of syrup would be about enough. Let's try that as an estimate. You know it's going to be roughly something like that. So now we need to do our calculation. So we use the formula, what you want over what you've got times what it's in. Okay, what you want is 100 milligrams over what you've got. Well, we're talking about 125 milligrams per 5 mil. So, looking at this calculation, how could we do this calculation if we didn't have access to a calculator? Well, what we could do is do 100 times 5 would give you 500 on the top. Divided by 125 on the bottom. So 500 divided by 125 equals 4 mils of liquid. So does that make sense? So let's look at our estimate. Well, our estimate said 4 mils, and that ties in with our calculation. So 4 mils is our final answer of syrup. So it's always a good idea to do the estimate. And calculate and then check and see if your answer makes sense.